What's going on YouTube? It's Chris and today we're going to be taking a look at iOS 15 versus 14 when it comes to multitasking. So here I've got an iPad Air 4th generation and over here I've got the 12.9 inch 3rd gen iPad. We're going to be taking a look at multitasking. As you can see I've got the home screens laid out here. They look very different in terms of widgets. Um, you can be extremely minimalistic like you are over here. I usually like a minimalistic look with all of my apps down here on the dock. Um, but on iOS 15 you can put multiple widgets all over over the home screen and so that's something that's really cool whereas on iOS 5, iOS 14 excuse me um, you can only have your column of widgets down here which you can swipe up to have or swipe down to dismiss okay so taking a quick look at multitasking and how it is right now you can do the same things in iOS 14 or iPad OS 14 as you can in iPad OS 15 and you can even do them in the exact same way in the newer software as you could in the older software for instance I have Pixelmator open right here say I want to open a second app we can pull up the dock say we want to open luma fusion you can drag that into a split screen view just as you can in ipad os 14 and here we have the two instances two different applications running at the same time if we want a third application open we can do the flyover card say we want to do maps for some reason we want to know where we're at while we're editing so we go ahead and we pull open maps and now we have that in the slide over card um, and of course you can reposition uh, these windows just as before but what has changed um, typically i like to have once again my applications that I use when I'm multitasking all here in the dock including some folders where I have multiple applications just to make sure everything I could possibly need is available in the dock when I'm multitasking and this is because if I found myself needing to use an app that wasn't here in the dock I could not keep this running so some apps have to be running in the foreground to continue working such as LumaFusion it will actually stop rendering a video if it's put into the background so if I'm in a situation here and I need to for some reason use maps and say maps is not in the dock I'm stuck I'm screwed there was a slight workaround if you had a keyboard you could hit the search button type in maps and then drag that application from the search result into a flyover card and that's how you could get out of it but if you don't have a keyboard you're kind of stuck in terms of bringing in an application that is not here in the dock but I will give credit where credit is due in iPad OS 15 you can have access to your app library here in the dock and this gives you access to all of the apps on your device and so say you wanted to take some notes and you could drag that into a third card right here without having to leave um, as you would here in order to get to a third app and risk you know having one of your apps shut down here but other than that literally they've just repackaged the same thing so here you have a full screen app a split screen app and a flyover card so you can turn any instance of an app into one of these three um, but you could do the same thing here it was just in a different way you could use flyover cards with this and you could turn this into split screen or by sliding all the way you could turn it into full screen much the same way so what I felt that people really wanted especially on something like the 12 9 inch iPad Pro is four way split screen where you could have four different applications running at the same time, especially on the variants of the iPad Pro that have 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, it's more than capable of doing that, but iPad OS 15 just doesn't allow it as of right now. So that's why I would say that multitasking in iOS 15 has not been revamped, it's just been repackaged. You can't actually do anything new in the multitasking here that you could not do before in iOS 14. Also guys, let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing these two iPads go head to head as they are similar in price. And if you're not looking to pay a premium for the M1 iPad Pro and you're looking for something that's still relatively powerful, um, these actually match up really well. So let me know if you'd like to see a comparison between these two devices by leaving a like and also a comment down in the description below. But yeah guys, I just wanted to give you a quick look at iOS 14 versus 15 in terms of multitasking. Really seeing that not much has changed here. It's just been repackaged with that being said guys you know what to do hit the like button subscribe click the bell so you don't miss as we cover your favorite tech and video games i'm chris grant jr it's the granite geek show